It's Sunday afternoon here at Monza and you're in for a treat at this classic Formula One track. Welcome to the Italian Grand Prix. With top speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour, few places can hope to touch Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in Formula One. Hard braking zones going into three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, well, two DRS zones will help encourage some close action. So as we look ahead to what I hope will be a very entertaining race, I have to ask Anthony Davidson what you expect to see in terms of strategy today. I mean, do you expect a lot of tyre management, a lot of fuel management? Well, don't we always? I don't expect these are going to be any more important than usual, if I'm honest. What I do expect, however, are a lot of drivers getting into the pits early for some kind of undercut on fresh rubber. If you can pit before the person in front, have a good stop and drive a blistering outlap, there may be one or two seconds to be gained. If anyone gets stuck behind another car, for example, that will be the go-to strategy, surely. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and Nico Rosberg completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Verstappen, Felipe Massa, and Kvyat, Ricardo, Bottas, Raikkonen, and Sergio Perez, Hulkenberg, Sainz, Roman Grosjean, and Alonso, Button, Gutierrez, Kevin Magnussen, and Jolian Palmer. NASA and Ericsson, Pascal Verlein, and Rio Harianto completes the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track.
device is now enabled and will be available to use when you are within one second of the car ahead in the DRS zone. today. I think the boss will be happy with that one. So, another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. And now it's time to wind down and celebrate after that fantastic Grand Prix. Here they come, your top three, out onto the podium. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Champion.